past? Uh, one of the things I was the most excited about to do with the series um, and to have the opportunity to do is to tell a more character driven series. And I loved the idea of doing a limited series because it's such an interesting format. Um, so I was very grateful for this opportunity and also just to get to work with these incredibly iconic characters again. I really don't think I could have honestly done Kenobi if I hadn't done Mandalorian first. Um, and it was for a number of reasons. Um, one was just on the practical side of just, you know, having the opportunity to work with everything and get to know the galaxy because it, it can be quite a, a challenging galaxy sometimes to work in. Um, and then also to have, you know, the tutelage and work under Dave and John and to really sort of get the essence and the feel of Star Wars. Um, and then the other thing is the technology is that, you know, we used the same technology that we did on Mandalorian, which is stagecraft. And I was really excited actually to get to continue working with it and to really design a show that was designed for stagecraft. The tone that we were going going for, um, I, I would say is probably closest in many ways to kind of sort of almost more like one of the poetic Westerns where, you know, if Mandalorian was more sort of a classic Western, for me, I was thinking of things like the proposition or assassination of Jesse James, where, you know, you do have the tropes of the genre, but there's a very strong emotional core and a very strong character side to the journey. I truly loved working with Chung Hoon um, and he was such a great partner throughout this. Um, you know, and I think with the visual style, you know, the reference for me with Star Wars is always going back to Westerns and samurai films. And there's st such a strong correlation, particularly with samurai films. So I always look back at Kurosawa quite a lot. Um, and I think one of the things I love about that is that there's such a strength and a simplicity to the storytelling and it's largely visual. Um, and I think Star Wars always feels like it really benefits in that mode of storytelling. Um, and then I think another thing that we were really trying to do is, you know, when you go to a new planet such as Dayu or somewhere like that, you really have an opportunity visually to create a new world and to have a different style even in that planet. So that's something that Chung Hoon and I were really trying to do throughout the series. I was so grateful, honestly, to be able to do the whole series. Um, and it was incredibly exciting, especially with something like this, where you're telling a limited series, which is one big story. Um, and it's just, you have the opportunity, obviously, to take the vision right from the very beginning all the way to the end. Uh, and it's also, such a great experience to work with the actors and to be there for every single nuance and the character development throughout the whole thing. Um, so for me, it was such a benefit and I was so grateful to be able to have that opportunity. Both Ewan and Hayden were awesome, honestly, and they were such a pivotal component of this. Um, in large part because not only are they amazing actors and, and great human beings, but also because they just know these characters inside and out. You know, not only did they play them in the prequels, but they've also lived with these characters in their lives um, since then. So they are such a great guiding touchstone for me to always, their instincts are always correct. So whenever we had a question or wherever there was a line of dialogue that we weren't sure about, we'd, you know, we'd go to the actors and, you know, they, they always had the right instincts because they just know those characters so well. The Inquisitors were, you know, obviously primarily developed obviously in, in Dave Filoni's Rebels in the animated series and it was something that we were quite excited to bring into live action and also for this point in the timeline they make perfect sense you know for the storyline um, so you know for us we are 10 years after Revenge of the Sith so it's a time period in which the Inquisitors have been out there hunting and trying to track down any remaining Jedi and you know obviously we're telling a story about one of the most iconic Jedis in hiding. Um, so it felt a very natural fit to have them be part of the story. I think my hopes for the series is that, you know, that people feel that we really connected to these characters in a way. And, you know, I think one of the things that we were trying to do by doing a character driven series was to really have it feel very emotional on this journey and to really connect to Ewan's character in a real way. Um, so I would love the audience to have that experience to feel like they're really connecting to him emotionally throughout the series.